What's up with it, y'all? It's Richard D back with another video. Today, I'm going to show y'all <clears throat> how I'm going to go ahead and put this Explore emblem on the front of my uh, 2013 Ford Explorer XLT. I actually bought this uh, strip lettering from eBay. I think I paid about 12 bucks for it, uh, plus tax or whatever. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and install this. Uh, there's a couple videos out. Um, first, you'll need some painter's tape, uh, some rubbing alcohol, some paper towels, um, and a tape measure. Uh, basically, um, you want to wash the car before you start, and then you want to go ahead and uh, apply it based on the steps that I'm going to follow today. So I've already washed my car, washed it yesterday, pretty much soap and water. Um, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and apply it today. So uh, stay tuned. All right, y'all. So basically, I'm rubbing the front where it's going to go. Placing alcohol on the clean paper towels. Basically, just get any excess dirt or whatever off the front of the vehicle and basically that's to help clean it and then after that we're going to measure and tape off where we're going to actually place this So first thing you want to do is you want to measure your four emblem and it's actually nine inches. So you want to measure off half of nine inches to give you the middle of the car. And half of nine is 4.5 inches. So 4.5 is about right between the O and the R. So I'm going to take off. Nine inches This is the middle of the of the car, right between the O and the R or the four emblem. So basically, the middle of the floor has a dot on my printout, and you want to basically center it right between there. So. Let us get it taped off and uh, measured, and we'll come back to you. All right, y'all. So basically, what we've done is we've marked off three eighths. Well, this square is three inches, and the emblem letters are an inch and a half. So basically, it leaves three eighths of an inch at the top and three eighths of an inch at the bottom. So that's where we measure. So this emblem is supposed to go in the middle of the three eighths. So that way it'll be even and centered on the front of the car. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a long strip of tape and put it right at the three eighths line at the bottom 
and we're gonna line it up all the way across so that way we can put the emblem letters right on the line and we'll be able to tape it down and stick it in place. Alright, so we have the strip on the car taped down where we want to place it. So before we actually stick it down, um, we're going to peel the backing off and uh, press each corner and center to stick each letter down. So this is basically our prep work and now we're about to get to sticking the letters. So now we're in the process of sticking each letter. There's no real science between this. Just gotta guesstimate it. Measure it. I'm gonna try to press every letter for like five seconds. In the corners, in the centers, at the end. Hopefully they don't fall off next week. We're down to the L. EXPL is stuck on the car. Four more letters to go. We only halfway done. Every strip is different. Some manufacturers or people that make these strips, some they all glue together four letters at a time. You can just peel all four off and stick them. Peel the second four off and stick them. Some come with that um, abrasive solution that you can put rub on the car before you put them down. This one is just basic. It looks like it's just a foam spacer and every letter is stick separately so you have to peel each letter off and stick it on separately so that way you want to make sure you measure exactly where you want to put it before you start 
peeling off the letters and sticking them on the card. Hopefully this comes out even and straight and the letters can stay on. Hopefully I'm going to start going through automatic car washes and then pop out. Right now I'm hand washing the car. So I'm gentle. Down to the R. I'm pressing down on the R. Looks like we have all of them stuck and peeled off. So we're gonna come back and show y'all what the final product looks like. All right, I'm about to peel off the phone spacer all the way across. Hopefully no letters come with it. And we can see how the final product looks. Voila! Look at that! Look at that! That makes me so happy. That makes a world of difference on the front end of this Explorer. Kind of looks like the Range Rover badge. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, I think that adds a pop of color to the front end of the car it looks great riding down the street i just hope these letters hold on here and i don't have to replace them month to month but for now i'm satisfied with it thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed my tutorial on how to badge your explorer with the letters on the front of the hood stay tuned for the next video Ooh.